seems like well, uh, there were also some Pokemon enjoys. That was a really good transition, everybody, if you should follow me. I'm good at commentating. Uh, they're going to be going off to follow Pokemon me. Stadium 2. <laughs> Vivi going up against Spoilers. Uh, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about this matchup? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. Because I, I actually barely see it happen. I know Suarez is able to pressure as fast. But if Hero does get the buffs then I can see it being a struggle, like being able to hit um, out of the double jump armor super early. And uh, Ooh. even if you, you take neutral, get up in place with it, that's not the answer. Yeah, you got to guess at the end of the day, right? So sometimes just tech rolling in or out and whatever. Uh, yeah. It's going to put you in a bit more of a favorable position. So hopefully Vivi is just going to be able to spice and mix things up the next time around. But now has bounce on deck, so John's not going to be able to get away with a whole lot of eggs. And just like that, you know, up till such a classic, yeah. you know, classically designed aim tier. It's a simple move. Yeah. Hits right. up and hits around. I'm going to say it here, guys. Stop, like, low jumping in front of Hero whenever they have the buffs, thinking that's the answer. They're going to up tilt. Yeah, like, sometimes you could just stand still because... They're just waiting for you to react. Yeah. Oh my. That was ridiculous. I have never it's seen one of those actually come into play doing in singles and doubles. You know, something wacky can happen all the time. Yeah, someone uh, clipped that actually. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's been deflected. Boink. Oh my goodness, what a follow-up. Floyd are not doing enough uh, knockbacks to the point that you can still follow up off of it without it having like a spike. Oh. And just like that, that's enough percent yeah. for it you to spike. You remember when it wasn't working against numbers? It's working now. Yeah, it's doing exactly what it needs to. Swellers, he is playing hot. He is playing really good. I feel like Swellers is one of the most powerful Game 1 and Game 2 players. But then the question is, can he sustain that throughout the rest of the set? Yeah. Maybe. As long as Suarez does not like get tilted, Yep. As far as has a chance to be like almost anyone. A really good pickup, really good tech chase. Once again, Vivi just establishing he's just going to tech in place over and over, and Swarz is consistently punishing him for it. Yeah. Now bounce on deck. No more eggs are going to be a foot. Oh, I like the yeah. up smash idea. Yeah, and you see Suarez now like overstanding the fares, catching the dashbacks of Vivi. Mm -hmm. Dashing in and out. Going to be able to call out that jump on in. As no double jump is going to be stuck on the platform, but then Vivi just opts to back off, give up a little bit of uh, positioning to pull out menu. Okay. Call him right there. Oh, I like the accelerator choice, but then just kind of ended up dashing into whatever Swallows had, like, setting up over there. Yeah. I think I it's, do. A good, it's a good idea. Yeah, it is a good idea, but see, a lot of people, the air dodge forcing the... The backer forcing the air dodge, but... A lot of people do like fading in, and they don't like mix up like fade back a yeah. lot of times. So, because you want center stage, that's like the big thing of this game yeah. when you play Smash or like any platinum f platform fighter. And you just cover like the furthest they can fade in when you're kind of hitting them, and you just hit them for it. Yeah. Uh, that directional air dodge, I don't even know if it was fully intentional. Uh, it's just it, been like a neutral air like, dodge so that you wanted to hold in on. Yeah, it looked like a. If you look at the replay, it's just like dodging the um, back air. Yeah, might have just been like a neutral air dodge. Yeah. Like, uh, but now this is a completely new game, nice and fresh. Uh, Swell is immediately just taking a kaboom to the face. We're going 85% in 15 seconds. He needs this in. He needs this opening. He needs a back air. Well, you know what? A down air is a great way to start. Good wait. Excellent. Oh. Keep going. Another one. Goes for the egg to cover the other platform. Tries to put himself in time. Is not going to be able to do so. Vivi with a big hit out there and just ends up going to the ledge that time. Super fortunate. Had Swell is up to go above. That would have been just a kaboom. Yeah, would have been super unfortunate. Okay, caught the drop shield. And the egg wow. taking it. Very and subtle. And that was, and Vivi started this off with like an 85% lead too. So. Yeah, even did a backup with a, another kaboom. Right there. He's getting really good pulls. Yeah, no, excellent pulls. Now has Psych up on deck, just going to be waiting a little bit. Swell is respecting him a whole bunch for it and fading out, just really abusing all of Yoshi's egg speed. Oh, step on him. 
Bashing back a little bit, ends up getting that side B. All right. Oh, another electric. And a lot of people like landing on Hero, and DB really good with their reactions, just able yeah. to up tilt. A big jab block. I like that he went for the neutral lane instead of anything else at that point. Because he's like, you know what? I just want stage control. I just want to get you out there. Um, and now all of a sudden, he's got to find a way to make up some of this damage. Yeah. Just needs to find one of his openings. Really big down. I like that he went for the just the neutral lane, backs off, and then still has enough time to be able to throw out an egg. He just maximized how many hits he can get up out of that. Yeah. No, definitely did maximize the amount of hits. And Accelerado. I saw the head shake. Gotta, you gotta be careful. You gotta keep yourself calm. You gotta keep yourself in the game. Really good trade for these is though. Not gonna be able to hunt down uh, VV in time. Oh, they're, they're both like swinging with all the respect to falling girls. Uh. Ew. Another one. Okay, just gonna be able to double jump back on. Uh, even if like Vivi has like the good idea for it, it takes so long to actually yeah. uh, get the good time for Hila as opposed to Yoshi. No, you can just kind of abuse that. Definitely. Um, it just feels like at this moment in time, it feels like we're going to take it three, like solidly. Yeah. And basically, this looks like an adaptation period, or like, yo, I'm getting a yep. download. He's just playing back, playing patient right now, just spacing himself out there completely. Nice call out, though, on all those jump backs. Uh, Vivi is getting a little bit too comfortable with it. That's not going to kill quite yet, but it established that he knows how to punish those. Yeah. He established he knew how to punish those, but wrong place, wrong time. I'm just saying, it's like, as far as I would start, to, I'm glad he started down being there. Because if like it was me and I was just needed to get information, I'll start doing some next stuff. Yeah. Oh, that was that, that was such a queen stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This mm. is when it starts like getting pulled away when it gets that kill right there. Mm. As far as just not able to close it out, and one six five, you already see on the next dot. Yoshi can definitely be like a little bit slippery sometimes. Right? Like Swaggers is definitely like having a thing like where he's, you know, pushing yeah. into like one direction a little bit too far as a result he's like misfacing some things. Like that back here. That back yeah. we're thinking that uh, that back here. No, that back here felt more like a read. But he uh, put himself in a corner voluntarily. No, yeah. He well, yes. So Cuz he thought Vivi was going to dash back but Vivi just held place. Three, two, one, go. All right, and seems like we're going to battlefield. That's our stage of choice. And Suarez, 1-1 one, one in BB. If you're just tuning in right now, this is loser semis. Winner of this place, John Numbers. Okay, has him off stage here. Is he going to be able to find this hunt down? No. Once again, like Suarez, just being so ambiguous, so tricky on his descent. Now with Oomph and Psych up on deck. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you was taking a sip of water. He just choked on that. What swag has got shield broken and have smashed. And now he's like leaning in fully. He's in it. He's in this game. Wow. Yeah, no, Suarez came, came here leaning hard. That was like a legit meme personified. It's like once shit happens, <laughs> go hunt mm. butts Notre Dame that shit. <laughs> Oh, tries to go for the up tilt there on shield, but Vivi just not going to be having any of it at this point. Just being so patient. Good mix up on the landing. Spoilers kept on landing with a button. That time again opted to go for the egg lay and just catching him sitting in shield. Yeah. All right. Now catch him. Oh my God. Caught the spot dodge right there. And Vivi looking a lot better than game one. Mm -hmm. And like carrying the momentum from game two just onward into this. Oh my oh. God. The kaboom. Not sure, but the uh, sentiment was behind that. Who's for this? Because he was definitely like in a position where he can fully react to it. Battlefield coming in really clutch for Vivi, who, yeah. of course, it's, you know, slightly tall ceiling, uh, keeps him alive for a little yeah. bit longer. The idea is, is like, he, caught, he got caught in his dash, and then once you're in your dash, it takes longer to shield, and because it sucks you in. He was no longer in his initial dash, though. He was already fully at a point like where he was running, and he could still shield. 
It's not like it puts like you back in the initial just, rush. Like, when you're just, like, doing it. Yeah. And just not thinking, it just happens. It happens. Ooh, kicked in the air. Oh, good landing mix-up there. Just really catching BB off guard. Okay, Nair, going to close out the stock. 156. Suarez needs to deal some massive amount of percent or close out the stock. With Accelerator, that's definitely going to be really tricky because it's so difficult to actually connect to anything. And you're really waiting for Accelerator to just dissipate yeah. this time. It, it, it's jump bar choke, essentially. Yep. Wow, all those sizzles. Yeah, kafrizzle, my nizzle. <laughs> that's the one that got you. <laughs> not something I'd expected that you'd say right now. <laughs> Anyways, he's going to be able to find the up tilt, takes the second off on, uh, second stock off on Suarez. And just like that, as VV with a huge lead for himself now. Okay, uh -oh. and catching the jump. A lot of people do like jumping there, and Suarez is one to be prone to jump there. And getting caught, tech chase with the up smash. And this is just getting more and more out of hand. Vivi is there every single step of the way. I like that Suarez has stopped, has started to wait a little bit longer, yeah. but yeah. I gotta say, Vivi has such a tell on his positioning. Yeah, and Vivi has outspaced Suarez, Soul Arts, just like barely. They both have whip in front of Vivi, and he's just standing outside. Oh man, lucked, it, lucked out. Outside of this, like... That's it. He has no double jump. Oh, but air. still makes it back on somehow. Yeah, everybody forgets about the air dog for whatever reason. This thing they're waiting until the last possible second and a well placed. Look at that spacing. Vivi has caught every single jump throughout mid range, throughout neutral, and out of disadvantage. From yeah. Suarez. It is not looking good from Suarez. Okay, going to small battlefield now. Mm. That's crazy because this is Suarez's favorite stage. Wow. At what point did he... Oh, he does like a full and healthy shield, too. Yeah, you can't hold shield when they have um, psych up like that, though. Yeah. It's just it's just not logical. Uh, but yeah, they're going to be jumping into game number... Uh, they're going to be jumping into game number four here. Uh, VV, huge lead for himself. He's, he's doing great. He... I'm just trying to think about what Swellis can actually do um, to bring himself back in this. He just needs like a bit of a mental reset. Yeah, no, he needs to, I think at this point is like, you gotta try to find your opening, can't try to force it, and yeah. you need to get like a combo with it. Cause you won game one, which means you know you can do it. You just gotta find like, what can I do to like break Vivi's armor? Yeah, Swellis is just getting hit for all of his jumping attempts. Uh, at this point, now you see Vivi start whiffing those a whole bunch. He keeps on going for it, finally finds that down, and no double jump punish because Axelo got a on deck. Not even Yoshi can contest with that, and just yeah. like that, that's all that it takes. Oh, Suarez. Suarez said, he literally said that's bullshit. He's fully leaned in. How is he going to be able to come back from this? Gets the jump call out that time again. This time not going through like a full hop. Mi mixing himself up a little bit with the short hop and gets the float into the up smash. Really yeah. good stuff. Got it. 15% even it up. We like to see this happen. Yep. Two socks apiece. He's back in it. He's focused. Now the question is, how is he going to be able to match this percent? He has not been able to initiate. He's not been able to open. He's trying to camp with Egg, but then as soon as Vivi gets bounced, that's no longer going to be an option. All right. I don't know why I thought we were going to see a wild magic burst right there, but Egg lay into there. Massive amount of percent. Oh. Oh my goodness. I I I I I'm tight tilted. Too. I'm tilted too. I know I'm tilted. I mean, eventually, if you hit enough of them, one of them's gonna do that. Yeah. That's just that's just the nature of LNG at the end of the day. Now, Swellis, he's keeping his composure. He has VV off stage. He has him stuck in the quarter. He's just waiting, maybe trying to go for like a neutral get up punish there, but uh, you know, miscalculating. Oh, VV's oh. pulling all of it out today. Hey, this is ridiculous. Fading back a little bit. Ooh, he's getting tricky with his movement, making himself so difficult for V to actually hit. And the back hit of Jab 1 ends up connecting. Just the very edge of it. I love when those reverse hits will happen. It looks so cool. It looks even cooler if you do it in a touch one. Mm -hmm. Really big back hit with Fujon. 
Doesn't commit to anything quite yet, but uh, just like that, he pushed in a little bit too far with Fogarty, and now that's Vivi with the stage control. Yeah, and the jumping caught again. Another jumping caught. Yeah, Felix Rose is kind of looking at himself and not really way like Vivi is dashing onto him. Yeah. Big up smash here, but then ends up missing it. Oh no. Yeah, the rare whiff. Okay, down smash. Not gonna be able to take it. Has the good idea, but then fades a little bit too far back. Okay, you know able what? to take it there with the bear. Yep, okay. A bit of salvage. This is not impossible for the mystic Jonathan Swagas. Runs right into that sizzle boat. Uh oh. Oh, psycho. Okay, string it up. Oh, that's a really big string for him right now. Is Vivi going to be able to pull Zoom? Why did he do that? Oh no, he just saved him. Yeah. And able to get the up tilt at the end of the day. Vivi taking a 3 1 over John. That isn't an upset in quarter seating, but man, that that's like that's upsetting. That was an upsetting game for it. Yeah. Critical hits, you know. Now granted, John had the good idea because like there was like a little bit of like antsiness there where he like tried a little bit too hard to be able to get this edge guard. Yeah. Right? This should have been it. That should have been it with the uh with the up B. But then he put him back off stage and yeah. then Vivi was able to zoom back on. This, this choice to up B from Vivi, I don't know what that was. So I think it's like you thought you could make it, but you can't. And yeah. then, oh man. Oh, he was already like shaking his head in yeah. the middle of that too. So, oh man, that's tough. Who swallows? You gotta, you just gotta hold that, I guess, you know? Yeah. Oh, that crit. Tragic. Genuinely tragic. Heartbreaking. All right. Well, but you know what? Either way, we look at Sassy VV, and <laughs> that means that we top three already confirmed there's going to be Dill, uh, John, and VV, no particular order, which I think is quite funny, since yeah. that is the uh, top three that you see at every other Xeno event, and Xeno Saga is no exception. Yeah, pre pre quid, pre pre Zamba, pre Tilde. Yep. This was the blast from the past. Just give us a bit of Cindy sprinkles in there. Mm hmm. Oh, and uh, I guess while we do wait for this upcoming match. Actually, I don't think we have enough time for any ads. Yeah, they're going to be getting into it in a second. Let's do one ad real quick. Ah. Quick. All right. Go, collision. Co go to Collision. Yeah, go to Collision. Smash.gg slash Collision. Go ahead and register. It's, it's going to be a beautiful event. Yeah, MKLeo's there. The Buzz is there. Tweak's there. Sparkle's there. Light, Mars, Meister. 